Hello, Jenna here. I know it's been 8 million years since I've done a video, so I deeply apologize. But I thought it would be fun to just do a little curriculum sharing of what we are going to be using for the 2023-2024 school year for our homeschool. Um, I haven't ever really done this before because I always feel like my curriculum is in flux a lot of the time. I never feel absolutely sure this is what we're doing. And so I don't like to make these kind of videos and then like a month later change. Um, but I did just order some new language arts last night, which I'm really excited about. So I thought, okay, I'm actually going to stick with this language arts. Like I'm feeling good about it. We're going to keep going with this. So. I just wanted to share it with you guys. This first video will be for my eighth grader and I'm really excited about her school year. I'm really excited to see her grow this year and what's to come for our school year together. Um, I'm actually also due with baby number seven in about a month, about four weeks. So these are our curriculum again for right now. I don't know what's to come, I don't know what will change, but this is what we are going with for this school year as of right now. And I'm kind of like, okay, this is it. <laughs> like, I can't buy any more curriculum. I'm not going to research any more curriculum. I mean, I'll always be on YouTube looking at curriculum videos, but I'm not going to buy any more. Like, I'm turning it off. Okay, so for math this year, we are changing. We have been using Christian Light Education. We were using teaching textbooks for a while and then moved to Christian Light Education, which I absolutely loved. My girls loved Christian Light Education. It was just amazing. I love it so much. But I'm thinking about for my daughter who will be going into high school, obviously in a couple of years after eighth grade, we have her on a wait list at a local Catholic school here um, in Arizona. And so I wanted to do the math that that school is doing in case she gets into it in a couple of years. So all that being said, that school uses Saxon. And I know so many of you homeschoolers already use Saxon, so it came highly recommended. She tested into Saxon Algebra 1 half. And we will try to get her kind of caught up. That school actually is one ahead. So I think they're in Algebra 1 for their eighth grade year as opposed to 1 half. Don't quote me on that, but my goal is that she will catch up to where she should be for that school if it's God's will that she goes there for high school. For language arts, we are sticking with The Good and the Beautiful for my eighth grader. She absolutely loves The Good and the Beautiful. I love The Good and the Beautiful for her. She just thrives with it. She loves to read. She loves the art. She's great at the geography. It's just a really good fit for her. Not so for my other couple of kiddos, which I'll share in their curriculum videos, but it's a really, really good fit for her. So because the the Beautiful doesn't have a, an eighth grade year long curriculum, we are doing the eighth grade book studies right now. And when she completes those book studies, we will move her to high school one which I'm really excited about. So we already have that curriculum for when she's done with eighth grade book studies. She can just move straight into the high school one. So I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. I don't do really any <laughs> planning in regards to like, okay, this lesson on this day and this is when we're gonna be done. She just does a lesson every day. I know that will be different with high school one. They don't have the lesson cadence like they do for pre-K through eighth grade. So that will be a bit of an adjustment, but. I know she's going to do great. She's really independent. She, again, loves it in the beautiful. So it's a really awesome fit for her. I'm excited to feel really good about language arts for her. And then moving on to history. History is something I really struggle with because history is generally parent intensive, in my opinion. We are expected <laughs> to homeschool them and to teach them about history, which I, I shouldn't doubt anything less than that. But just looking at my life and that we're going to have seven kids in about a month, I just feel a little bit anxious about not having a subject that is as independent for her. But 
what we have done in the past which i actually really loved and again she is my one that like loves to read so in case you have a child that loves to read and um, you also want to be independent we had a really good experience with beautiful feet books um, for the older grades i think they do seventh through ninth grade and that was actually really great she loved it so much but yeah we're not going to keep doing it i think she kind of was a little reading out of it she's like hey can we switch this up i'm like okay sure <laughs> yeah it's, if it's too much it's too much so what we have been doing is we went back to gather on homeschool for a history specific mini unit we've been doing u.s history 2 from gather on homeschool and i believe it's called rise to independence anyway i love it so much my girls love it so much it's so cool to have a history curriculum that can be used family style and we all just sit down with their notebooks and i read to them it's just been really awesome i love american history i find it fascinating and this has been a really good fit for our family again we were using beautiful feet books i was doing the k through third beautiful feet early american history and it was just a lot for me and i know that i love gather on homeschool so we've went back to gather on homeschool and did u.s history too so i'm excited to keep on moving through their u.s history units so that is something i'm going to be trying to do in our morning basket which we've strayed away from over the past six months or so then for religion which is also kind of part of our morning time morning basket whatever you want to call it we are going to continue using into the deep into the deep is an amazing catholic curriculum that is written by an incredible woman who obviously knows and loves the lord her name is olivia spears i just cannot recommend into the deep enough it is incredibly profound and simply profound and teaches me about the faith teaches my children about the faith teaches us to love the lord most of all not just facts about the faith so into the deep is huge for our homeschool and i love it so much again it's really beautiful to do as part of our like family morning time history and religion and then i also just got them not consumed bible studies to do for independent bible study time and i got them the sibling one i can't remember the exact name of it but i'll show you the video of it here and they actually really like it they've been really good about like sticking to their schedule and continuing to use it in their independent time so that's been really awesome to have as kind of a religion part two okay and then for science we really love journey homeschool academy journey homeschool academy is something i found a couple of years ago and actually like really fell in love with it it is independent <laughs> which i love and it is a christian worldview biblical worldview to science so We've done earth science, biology, and two levels of astronomy for a couple of my kiddos. And every time it's been so cool. Like the instructors are really amazing. What my kids are learning is really great. I just love it so much. It's not live instruction. It is like taped instruction that you can watch at any time, but you have a certain amount of months to complete all of the classes and tests and all that it's just been really amazing anyone who ever asked me about science homeschool curriculum i'm like yes i solidly can say journey homeschool academy is bomb and i love them and just highly recommend journey homeschool academy she's doing astronomy she's not done yet with last year's astronomy so she's just going to continue to do that once she is done with it, we have looked at homeschool connections. So we've been looking at that one to possibly do live instruction with other Catholic teachers and kids. Um, so a science class that we are looking at with that is actually about dogs. My daughter is really into dogs. So there's a dog one that seemed sciencey. So she was kind of excited about that. We also are looking at maybe doing Spanish through there. I would love to find a Spanish tutor in real life. That kind of sounds amazing to me, but who knows what's going to happen. So those two we haven't really nailed down yet. What we're going to do after astronomy at Journey Homeschool Academy, and then what we're going to do if we're going to do any language or anything like that. Then for typing, we have always used Typing Club, and my kids love it. I'm a big fan of teaching your kids typing. I also have my eighth grader lined up with a subscription to World Watch News. Um, if you've not heard of it, 
I heard of it from a few other homeschool moms, but it's basically the news through a Christian worldview. And she actually really enjoys it. It's pretty short. She just watches it every day. It's part of her like cadence, her schedule for the day. And I really love that she is up to date on what's going on in the world, that it's not just that we're homeschooling and like isolated and don't know anything that's happening, but she actually knows what's going on in the world. We can pray for it. We can talk about it. It's just been a really beautiful experience for her. My seventh grader sometimes tags along and watches with her, but for the most part, it's really for my eighth grader. Yeah, I think that's all. I did get a couple of other books. I got like a special art book for my daughter as well, just to do something fun. If she's ever like, hey, I don't know, I want to do an art project. I'm like, here's an art book for you. As always, she's doing independent reads. Um, I don't necessarily designate independent reads. She, again, she's my really great reader. So The Good and the Beautiful is encouraging her to read, has obviously books to read for the book studies, and she's literally reading all of the time. So that's happening a lot. And something really exciting that I'm doing for this year is I actually got her a tutor, especially because I'm just gonna be having the baby. I wanted her to be able to have someone who's gonna be working with her a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one and who also can, again, help her work through Saxon. Because it's new and because we kind of need to catch up with where that school is at for if she goes to it in the future. So I'm really excited for her to have a tutor specifically for math and a little bit of language arts if needed. But that is all for my eighth grader and stay tuned for my seventh grader's curriculum as well as my fourth grader and kindergartner now crazy. Forgot I'm homeschooling four of them this year. Please pray for me. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.